Hi guys, what's up? It's Mel. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today, I just wanted to apologize, first of all, for not posting videos um, the past couple of Fridays. Honestly, I have just been very, very busy with my life, and uh, I have not been able to post that. And my videos have not been doing as well on YouTube as I would have liked, so I kind of gave up a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I lost a little bit of motivation. But um, at the same time, I do know that motivation really is all about... Um, Oh gosh, what's the word now? Discipline. And I'm really trying to get better at disciplining myself to like get better at uploading when I need to upload, which is at least once a week, which I do that. Um, but yeah, and as well as that, I am going to be posting a lot more on my Instagram, like stories and stuff like that. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I highly recommend that you do. It is Melissa Manda, just like everything else. And yeah, um, I'm going to be posting a lot more on there as well as just honestly... Um, I don't really post a lot on TikTok anymore, I'm not going to lie, but I do post a lot on Instagram. Um, and that's going to be where I'm going to be focusing my content more for the next couple weeks and just seeing how that goes. Um, I've heard a lot of people say that niches are kind of overrated, so I'm kind of like, along with autism, I'm kind of just going to be like finding myself in my life and find, figuring out more about me and who I am. So... That's my plan for this channel right now, is just honestly to do that. But today, I actually have a really cool video for you guys. It is about this book, which I have reviewed on this channel before, but in the very back, they actually have resources that you can um, use to get help if you need it. And so I'm going to go over those with you. They are from a lot of different countries. Like, they start in Australia because, obviously, um, Chloe, the writer of this book, is from Australia. Um, but I'm going to go for um, Canada and the United States of America first because I live in the U.S., so we're going to go through that. So for autism, there's Autistic Inclusive Meets, which is AIM, um, and then they support autism acceptance, protect against laws that harm autistic people, and connect with the autistic community. And then they also do meetups and events for the autistic community, both in person and online. And then Autistic, Autistics for Autistics Ontario is A for A, so Ontario this would be in Canada, and it is to support and improve rights and opportunities for autistics, Canadian people, especially in the areas of school inclusion, employment, housing, and access to medical care. Then there's Autistics United Canada, which is really cool, um, and it's a, dis a disability rights organization created by autistic people for that focuses on building a community of autistic people while fostering autistic identity and pride. Um, and then after that, it is Autistic Woman and Non-Binary Network, and it is an autistic-led organization that provides community support and resources for autistic women, girls, and non-binary people, um, and all others of marginalized genders. They also provide support for minority groups such as autistic LGBTQ people and autistic people of color. By the way, it went through LGBTQIA+, but I didn't, I don't know why I didn't feel like saying that at the time, but that's what it actually goes through. And then, so, Autism, Autistic, Women, and Non-Binary Network, which is AWN. So, AWN provides opportunities to connect the autistic community through networking, educational, and social gatherings. And then the Non-Speaking Community Consortium, and I say community because the U in that is capitalized, um, a nonprofit organization funded by non-speaking autistics and other neurodivergent non-speaking people and allies that promotes communication, access, and choice. So... And then it goes over ADHD, um, resources for people with ADHD, attitude, um, a quarterly magazine and online resource for people with ADHD, um, providing access to evidence-based information for webinars and online community and news. Then there's CHAD, C-H-A-D-D, education, advocacy, and support for children and adults living with ADHD and their families, as well as teachers and healthcare professionals. And then there's um, resources for the LGBTQIA+, which is GLAD, G-L-A-A-D, empowers the community um, by sharing their stories, holding the media accountable for the words and images they present, and helping grassroots organization community effectively. And then there's one called It Gets Better, um, an internet-based not-for-profit organization with a mission to uplift, empower, and connect um, the community and queer youth around the globe. And by community, I just mean like lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender because I didn't feel like saying all the words. I don't know why I don't feel like saying it. It's just a mouthful to me. Um, but that's what it is for. 
Um, then there is stuff for eating disorders and general mental health. Um, and she goes over eating disorders because she did struggle with an eating disorder. Chloe did. Um, I don't know if she still does or not. She's not really, she was vocal about that very much in her book, but otherwise, um, I'm not going to go into that because it's her story and not mine, but there is stuff for general mental health. There's a lot more. There's so many more sources in this book that I'm not going over, but I just wanted to let you guys know, um, these are the main ones that I think are important um for people like there's like the trans life on the trevor project then there's eating disorders and there's sexual assault which is rain r-a-i-n-n -N. and then general mental health national suicide prevention lifeline it's free 24 7 um it is confidential support for people in distress as well as prevention and crisis resource and best practice for professionals um and it gives the number for it which is 800-273-8255 then the hop line hope line sorry the hope line um, resources for people struggling with poor mental health, including suicide and mental health resources, emotional mentors, prayer weekly. Oh my gosh, why am I having such a hard time reading this? Mentors, prayer weekly, personalized emails, and live chat service. So that is all of the, um, a bunch of the resources for, um, people in the UK and people in the US and Canada and I'm going to go for Australia. For Australia there's ADHD, adults with ADHD and it's ADD ULTS so like adults with ADHD um, and it gives authoritative information, politicians and services to support adults with ADHD and their families and friends. Events include quarterly ADHD afternoons led by speakers and a chance to meet and chat with others. Then there's ADHD Australia, support groups, research and newsletters, newsletter sharing the latest information and resources for ADHD folk and their families. Then there's autism. So for autism in Australia, there is a maze, information and resources for autistic people, including workshops, online resources, and an autism helpline via phone, email, or live chat. Then there's I can capitalized network. Professional development workshops and campaigns to increase autism understanding. And then there's Yellow Ladybugs, which I happen to know that there's a U.S. Yellow Ladybugs as well. Support and informal and informal events for autistic girls and gender diverse individuals between the ages of 5 and 16. So that one is more of like a younger group for help. Um, and at the very top of it, it says like, there are many organizations that offer advice, help, social engagement, and other services for neurodivergent people. This list is a good place to start. It is not exhaustive, and you'll probably find places that can assist you closer to home. Um, organizations marked with two stars offer international support, and there is a lot of um, international support that I went over as well. Um, for Australia as well as that, there is something called something for complex trauma called Blue Knot, K-N-O-T. Then there's Eating Disorders, the Butterfly Foundation. Then there's General Mental Health, which is Beyond Blue, Black dog institute and that is i'm just gonna read it because i want to the transitional research institute and aim to reduce incidents of mental illness and stigma around it so that's really really good and then Bur and then embrace mul embrace multicultural mental health there's headspace and kids helpline and lifeline there are a lot of them um, and all of these I actually am getting from this book. So they are all in the back of this book. All the information is in the back of this book. But I just wanted to highlight it because I was talking with somebody at my work the, a few weeks ago. And they said they wanted to learn better places um, to... They said they wanted to learn of better resources for helping autistic individuals. And this goes far beyond autism. It goes far beyond that. It goes like to suicide ideation it goes to eating disorders it goes to sexual assault it goes to like all those things um but i really wanted to highlight at least the autism stuff because in the u.s um and then there's stuff for the united kingdom as well which i'll go over in a second um but in the u.s there's a bunch of autism resources that aren't the best such as autism speaks there are people that know or the belief that Autism Speaks is not the best. And so they wanted to know resources that are actually really good instead. Um, so that's what I'm bringing you now. So then there is um, Ireland and UK, ADHD Foundation, and then there is ADHD Ireland, ADHD UK, then Autism, um, for those resources is As I Am, Awesome Training, um, so an autism training 
offers in-person and online courses to address the inaccurate portrayal of autism. Also, the home of Awesome Cork, an annual conference featuring autistic advocates who educate the general public about the needs of autistic people. Then there's Autistic Inclusive Meets, which is AIM as well, so they have AIM too. And then National Autistic Society supports guidance, diagnostic services, professional development, and educational and employment opportunities for autistic people. Then it goes into eating disorders and general mental health for um, Ireland and UK, which for general mental health we have Childline, Mind, um, National Suicide Prevention Hotline, Samaritans, SANE line, S-A-N-E line, and then SHOUT, and then for LGBT community is A-K-T, which is support for the LGBTQIA plus young people aged 16 to 25 who face, who are facing or experiencing homelessness or living in hostile environment, helping them to stay safe in crisis situations and finding emergency accommodations, access special support and develop skills and life goals. So that's what they do. And then, um, the ones that are like worldwide is Attitude, A-D-D-I-T-U-D-E is Attitude and then LG, and then GLAD and then it gets better. Um, and those are for GLAD and it gets better are for LGBTQIA+. Um, but yeah. And then there's obvious, then there's also Autistic Women in a Binary Network, and that one is worldwide. And then the Non-Speaking Community Consortium is not is worldwide. Um, and I know that because they have the stars by their names, which I can try to show you them. The stars by their names are like right there. And I don't know if you could see that, but they have stars by their names. I'm getting all of this information from this book. So, um, but yeah. AIM is probably the best resource right now that I know of um, for autism in America. Um, and I say that, and then obviously there's AWN, um, the Autistic Woman in a Binary Network, because that one is complete worldwide, I believe. Um, let me double check what that said about it really quickly. Offer oh, international support, yeah. So they do offer international support. Um, but I really wanted to share these resources with you guys because I feel like they are not widespread enough, at least I don't remember them off the top of my own head, um, so I wanted to share them with you guys so that maybe you can learn them and know them off the top of your head, or at least so you can buy this book, um, this is not sponsored by the way, but so that you can buy this book and kind of get a better understanding of the resources available to you if you are in crisis or if you do need help. But yeah, um, those are the resources, I will try to leave them in the description as best as I can, um, and that's pretty much all that I can do at this point. I can do more research on what else is available in America, but so far it's just AIM, A-I-M. Um, that is for autism. Um, and then obviously, like, there are obviously going to be, like, Facebook groups and things like that that you can, like, learn about and join. Like, I was part of one Facebook group, but they had a lot of interesting posts that I'm like, I'm not vibing with this right now. So I left it, I think. Um, I might go back to it later on if I feel like I'm vibing with it again. But I feel like that's okay. I feel like it's okay to need a resource for a while and then maybe like unfollow it or something or leave it if it's no longer suiting you or it's no longer very good for you um, and then go back to it when you need it. I feel like that's kind of like, I feel like it's probably, it's okay to do that because when you don't need something, when it's no longer working for you and when it's no longer suiting you, then why stay there? You know, if that, if whatever is trying to help you isn't helping you, then why stay there if it's not helping you anymore? Um... So that's just my general thoughts on it. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to at least some of you that are struggling and need help. Or I hope it was helpful for anybody who has somebody in their life who is autistic and wants help kind of directing them to resources that are available to them. Um, I know I was talking super fast in this video. There are a lot of resources in the back of this book, but I wanted to highlight them in this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, make sure you follow my Instagram because I'm going to post as much as I possibly can on Instagram. I'm going to post um, Amazon hauls and different things like that and just like go into that whole world of Amazon. So I'm, I'm planning on doing that at the very least. We'll see what happens. But anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it, if this was helpful information for you. And please subscribe. I'm trying to grow my channel more so that I can reach more people and hopefully be an autism advocate for as many people as possible in the America area because I live in the, like in the USA because I live in the USA. And just, 
I want to get the word out there that I'm an autism advocate because not everybody knows that and I really want them to know that because I know that I don't know every single thing about autism and I know I don't know every single thing about being an autism advocate but I'm learning as I go and I feel like that's um, as much as anybody can do so yeah again thank you guys so much for watching this video I love you and I'll see you in the next video bye